What is up, YouTube? My name is Eben, and today on The Edge, we're going to be talking about a card from the new Ancient Origins set, and that is Reggie Steel. Uh, this card kind of grabbed my attention right away from when I first saw it. Um, it's it's like all the Reggie Pokemon from this set. They're essentially anti-meta, anti-EX Pokemon. And this guy, I think, is particularly useful, not just because he's a Steel type, but because of how he is anti-EX. Each one of them does it in sort of a different way. Um, first of all, of course, he's got 120 HP, uh, and a 3 energy retreat, which is not great, but we're not really planning to retreat him. However, if we are going to retreat him, it's relevant to mention that since he's a metal type, he can go with Bronzong, who actually doesn't necessarily mind the retreat cost as much, because you can recycle those energies. Um, but, uh, his first attack, Iron Head, is just a flip a coin until you get tails kind of deal, and it's 30 damage or coin toss, which, if you're backed into a corner, might be okay, you know, if you have to rely on it. But of course, really what we're here for is his second attack. For one metal and two colorless, his Forbidden Iron Hammer does 70 damage, and if the defending Pokemon is an EX, you automatically discard an energy attached to it, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it's a great way to uh, hurt an opponent, set him back a turn, and then give them a difficult choice, because you just dealt 70 damage, potentially 90 if you're using Muscle Band, and they have to decide, is it worth investing that extra energy, or do they just let it go and give you the prizes, essentially? Um, of course, you know, you're thinking Metal Deck when you play with this guy. Um, you know, you're thinking Metal Links and all that. But what's cool is, just one Metal and one Double Colorless. So, your first turn energy attached, where you can't attack anyway if you go first. And then your DCE on turn two is all you need to get this attack up and going. So, despite him only having a useful attack at three energy, he's actually a very good starting Pokemon. Uh, especially since EXs are frequently in the active slot, early, mid, and late game. And of course, he's a nice thing to power up on your bench in the mid to late game, and you can do so fairly quickly. It doesn't have to be something that you build up and build up to. Um, he's a very quick power up. In fact, if you're using the aforementioned Bronzong, what's really nice is you can just metal links this metal energy onto him and then attach the DCE and literally power him all the way up in a single turn. I mean, at that point, you could just retreat your active Pokemon to a Registeel your opponent never even saw coming. And like I say, the Muscle Band is quite a relevant card here. Uh, reason being, that 90 is a very important number, because 90 plus 90, because remember, 20 on this Muscle Band plus that 70 is 90, 90 and 90 is 180, and very few EXs that aren't Megas can go past that, pretty much just way lower EX. And even the Megas don't really want to have taken 180 damage, especially not if they're losing an energy every turn. And it's also relevant to mention that this is enough to put pressure on anything that's not an EX as well. Even though you're not taking the energies off, that's still pretty much a 2-hit KO on anything. And with 120 HP, Registeel's probably going to survive most ordinary attacks, uh, reducing them to a 2-hit KO, meaning that if he comes in uh, without taking damage and gets the first attack on a Pokemon, he's probably going to be the one getting that knockout rather than the opponent. And if they come in and revenge kill him, well, he's only worth one prize to them. So it makes him very, very powerful in that regard. Of course, you don't have to go Metal Deck either. You can just run him in any deck that even has a, so much as a Rainbow Energy. Um, that's what's really nice about him. You can splash him into decks that either have a small amount of metal energy or uh, run rainbow energies, since he only needs just the one, and he doesn't have to go into a Metal Lynx deck if you don't want to. He doesn't have to be in a dedicated steel deck, uh, unlike Pokemon like, say, Heatran, who really have to be in that one deck. This guy is quite flexible, and his second attack is definitely going to be something that most decks are going to have difficulty dealing with. Um, energy removal is problematic enough. Guaranteed energy removal and energy removal every turn and at a reasonable price, that's even more troublesome. Combine that with hammers or say Team Flare, Grunt, or Zorosic, and your opponent could be looking down the barrel of uh, basically seeing their entire game plan set many turns back or even completely derailed. So that is why Registeel is definitely one of the cards to be watching in this next as the format develops. So anyway, until next time, like, comment, subscribe, check me out on Twitter if you haven't already. A lot of times I will post things there that don't end up making it to videos on the channel, so it's worth keeping an eye on. And I will see you next time.